RFID Journal Live 2012 will be our 10th annual RFID conference and exhibition. It's been 10 years of incubation, but RFID is finally coming into its own. There's a great deal of advancement going on in the RFID industry. We have vendors providing new solutions that deliver real business value to customers. We're seeing major retailers rolling out new solutions to track inventory. Next year, we expect to see the show to be bigger and better with more innovation, more end users, more thought leaders sharing their learnings. This is the first time that the retailers have been together in a public forum talking about RFID. The bedrock is inventory accuracy. With that improved inventory accuracy, now we have to believe that that's going to lead to increased sales. Oh, every retailer that was up there is committed um, you know, to moving forward. We need the industry to step up and initiate requests about new standards and also to push our technology vendors to continue to, to grow this technology. I especially liked to impart those lessons learned to the audience because I think that's the value I learned a lot as I came to these conferences early on, and now it's our turn to, to give back. Here we have the Verify In series of tags. These tags are actually the first to go into the surface of metal. Not only are we retrofitting assets with RFID tags, but now we're manufacturing assets that are already RFID enabled. This is the Impinge STP source tagging platform and what we're showing here is a high-speed inline encoding of Monza 5 versus a competitor. We're encoding 96 bits of EPC data to that tag at over 1,800 tags per minute. We have the first uh, UHF wearable reader. Any place and workstation-wise you need a hands-free environment where uh, you want RFID to be seamless in that environment. This is the device for that application. This is a uh, RFID-based uh, beverage control solution. So we have an active RFID tag on a bottle of liquor, and we can measure pours. And then the system tells us in ounces or milliliters um, how much we pour, which helps us with inventory control and shrinkage. This year, one of the unique features of the event was an RFID end-to-end -end apparel tracking demonstration. So we tagged individual apparel items at the point of manufacture track them through distribution center into a retail store and out to the retail floor. We showed many of the business benefits of using RFID in apparel tracking. It's good to see it outside of a lab environment. It's, it's nicer to see how things are going to end up working in reality. Are you finding the solutions that you're looking for? Absolutely. Great, uh, great event, great vendors, um, you know, great conference. Breakout sessions have been, uh, it's been wonderful. You know, we're big fans of innovation and we hope that our story can spur others to innovate as well. And frankly, I'm here to learn. This technology, this space is moving very, very quickly. This is the you know, one event that I can go to a year and learn everything that's going on in the RFID space and you know, meet anyone that I want to meet. Is the market maturing? Is it changing in any way from last year? There's definitely a lot more buzz this year, uh, more energy. It's just the awards that I saw given out a little while ago showed incredible diversity of applications in all kinds of markets. It's definitely getting a, a wider market appeal. There are more solutions here, uh, a lot less uh, just pieces of hardware and, and pieces of software that you have to glue together yourself. This conference it absolutely got me started and really educated me on who was out there, who were the players. I've been able to use this conference as a platform or a stage to go out and speak to people and educate them on, on what I've done. And now I'm actually using it to, to go out and find customers. It's been a great show. Uh, RFID Journal does a great job bringing great speakers in, um, great attendees, uh, a lot of fun, uh, very successful. This is an opportunity to see the most there is available in the world of RFID. You're not going to find anything bigger than this. Uh, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Uh, and again, you have uh, companies and, and uh, different uh, venues from all over the world here. So this is the place to be. Thank you.